Hi guys, and welcome back to Switch Up, as you join me for the huge est, est, est. I think the Nintendo eShop sales have been in a long, long time. There's no denying, we've got some titles here that haven't been reduced for ages, and then they've seen reductions of up to 50%. Congratulations to the winner of our free game from last week, you've won a copy of Rise Race the Future. All you need to do is leave a comment down below. It needs to be incredibly, unbelievably, beautifully normal. So if you can do that, then fantastic. What are the hugestest savings this week? Let's find out. I once didn't like Skyrim until I took an arrow to the memory card slot. And at 14.5 gigs, it's a pretty big arrow, but there's no denying that Skyrim is a legendary game. The Nintendo Switch version, for its age, still manages to make the game look really beautiful. And although it has the janky character models that we come to expect from Bethesda, if you're a completionist like me, then you can spend, well, at least 200 plus hours on each of your character builds, learning all the nuances. I myself really enjoy a stealth character, and creeping around without anyone seeing me, and getting up to mischief are the orders of the day. But you might like to create someone a bit more barbaric, and the options there for you. It's won over 200 Game of the Year awards, but it's not one that sees many sale drops on the Switch, and at the moment 50% off, taking it down to 24 quid. I say in fact, that's probably the price it should have been to start with, in all honesty, and it's well worth picking up at that price. That sale goes on, until the 10th of August, so you better be quick. Dark Souls Remastered is a sublime game. I mean, the original Dark Souls is just pure gold, and it hasn't seen an eShop drop in ages. It's stuck irritatingly to its original price. But I have found in the UK that if you go to Argos, you can pick this up at 34% off, $22.99, which is a bargain. If you've not played it before, then praise the sun, my friends. You're going to love this game. It isn't easy. And um, I'd say you need to be someone that enjoys difficult titles. It's not going to hand you anything on a plate. It's going to let you loose in the world and you have to figure out exactly where you're going to go. This includes the Artorius of the Abyss DLC and it has a very interesting co-op mechanic whereby you can lay down things. I mean, I, I it would take ages to go into it, but basically there is co-op here. But there's also PvP where players can invade your world and you end up just getting dominated usually by an annoying person who's absolutely naked brandishing nothing but a butter a knife. <laughs> The download size here is 3.9 gigs, but you'll be picking this one up physically, so that shouldn't be such an issue. You just need to download a few patches. One of the best first person shooters of all time, we've got Doom, which is off at 50%. Another massive drop, which is decent. You're looking at a chunky, chunky download here of 21 gigs, which is a bit of a beast, isn't it? It does have offline single player as well as online 4 to 12 multiplayer. And as it's on sale, you usually see a nice little jump in the amount of people online. The main game can be completed in around about 11 hours, but if you want to find absolutely everything, you could probably stretch that up to about 25. I thought it was pretty cool the way they reimagined Doom, but still kept that same flavor. You just run in and shoot absolutely everything that moves. I did enjoy the little animated death sequences and the destruction that you dish out on the hordes of hell is a pure delight. At 50% off $24.99 would be the time to pick it up as its lowest ever price. I thought Hand of Fate 2 was a massively underrated game when it was released and didn't really get the praise it deserved from a lot of people, but now it's 67% off. This is seven quid. <laughs> seven quid. This game's amazing. It has a card building mechanic, but it also has an action RPG mechanic as well, whereby you enter battles and actually have to fight. It's only 3.7 gigs, so it's not the biggest download, but to complete the game in its entirety, you're looking at around about 70 hours. It's a dungeon crawler that's set in this dark fantasy world, and it has that live board game almost mechanic taking place over the top, where you use a deck of cards that you've pre-chosen. Now, Glenn reviewed this on our channel, so you can check out his review. We'll make sure there's a link down below, but I'm pretty sure this is an essential pickup and it's probably my pick of the week so far at 67% off this sale goes on until the 20th of August then we've got the lovely cat quest for a quid 
you're having a laugh, have a day off. This is 80% off. It goes on until the 20th of August, I believe. But 80% off, I mean, that is an absolute steal. This one's only 380 megs, so it's not going to bust out your memory card and explode it all over the floor. It's quite a short title at around about six hours, but to find everything, it's around 10 or 11. Now, the second game is on sale as well. If you want to pick that up, you could pick the two of them up together for about £10.99, so it's not too bad at all. The second I did prefer. I enjoyed the, the more co-op heavy emphasis of that one. But still, this is a lovely little game if you've got kids that want to play an action RPG title. That's a good introduction here. It has a very cool, almost open world slash map. You, you'll see what I mean from the visuals on screen. And the combat super simplistic, really cutesy and who doesn't like cats? Come on. Someone in the comments is like, I'm a dog person. That's okay, you can be both. Plus, the name of the world, Feeling Guard. <laughs> or is it Feline Guard? Balls. I messed that one up. America are living the dream as Ease 8 sees again. It's dropped to its lowest ever price, which has been $29.99, and that's a 50% reduction. Now, many of you all know Ease 9 is just around the corner and has already, I believe, been released on other consoles, but is destined to come to the Switch. This is a fantastic game. Such a good title. Really is enjoyable. It's funny because 99% of the people we recommend this to come back and say, yeah, that's amazing. I'm absolutely in love with it. But it's not perfect. There's a little bit of jankiness to it. And some of the combat for some may seem a touch repetitive, but I really enjoyed it. I like the way you shipwrecked on the island. I mean, it's quite cliche. But you gradually build up your base area. And as you find more survivors on the island, you can then venture out deeper into it. There's dinosaurs and all sorts on there it's great i really enjoy this title and i would say if you can find it on sale as it is now at this kind of a drop then you should definitely pick it up it's 14.7 gigs so it's a chunky old number but it's going to take you around 40 to 60 hours it's well worth it and there's lots of value there this sale goes on until the 19th of august so you've got a bit of time if you're looking for something much cheaper and that you can just crack into your backlog or just start playing for short sessions then I would highly recommend Rive the Ultimate Edition. It's 90% off, taking it down to $1.49, and it holds a Metacritic score of 82 for a reason. Now, the main storyline can be completed in about five hours, but if you want to find everything, then you're looking at around about 15. It does have one to two player co-op, which is nice. Although, if I remember correctly, like one of you controls the gun and the other one controls the movement, which is, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that style of co-op. What I will say, though, is it's such a clever and cool little game. The music's brilliant. It has a few Metroidvania elements to it. It runs at a silky 60 FPS, and it has all the compulsiveness of a shooter while still having, like I say, a few of those Metroid elements. You pilot your spider tank, which can run and jump and shoot. It travels on land as well as underwater, and even on a moving train, which is pretty damn cool. And in a slightly sad twist, it's the last ever game from the developer two tribes. Well worth picking up at that price. That sale goes on until August the 13th, and like I say, it's only 800 megs. I don't see why. As you know, we also like to include a couple of titles that perhaps you've never heard of. So next up, we've got Tangled Deep. We did originally have a review of this one totally written um, and ready to go. And I believe that was from Evan. But unfortunately, we just never got the time to make it. Now, Tangled Deep combines the 16-bit graphics of classic RPGs that we're kind of probably a little bit oversaturated on but can be done beautifully and it is here and it also includes the legend of shara expansion content for free it has a tactical combat system that spans across 13 different job titles over 100 different skills as well to use you can choose between three different game modes that has the adventure mode if you would rather not have permadeath as obviously it does have some roguelite elements to it and the cool bit is that you can capture nearly any monster in the game and then raise them as a pet or breed them with other monsters it's I think that element that really stood out to us and made it a little bit special. This one's a gig, so it's not a massive title. It's going to take you, well, probably about 24, 25 hours to complete everything. I'm ready. Are you? Another massive drop is Wanderlust Travel Stories, which is down minus, well, 75% off. This isn't going to appeal to everyone. I'm going to put that, I'm going to caveat this one with this is not going to appeal to everyone. It's essentially a game whereby you play out a series of stories, and I believe there was a writer from The Witcher who played a part in the creation of this game. Now, the stories can be all different things, different adventures around the world, and you choose the gear that you want to take with you, and then that impacts your story. There's a lot of reading here, but 
It's very cool. There are loads of little choices as you make your way through the story. A bit like a choose your own adventure almost. But it has that feeling of escapism. You know the feeling of like, I don't know, a film like Stand By Me. Where you feel like you're almost with those kids walking up the train tracks. It has that feeling of it. And I spent hours and hours and hours working my way through this one. And I loved every minute of it. Just don't go in expecting like, I don't know, rocket launches and stuff. <laughs> That's not what this is about. It's 1.4 gigs, and I guess the, the, the length of the game depends on how fast you can read, but I did enjoy this one a lot. Akane is worth the price of admission at full price just for the soundtrack alone, but at the moment you're looking at 80% off, taking it down to under a dollar. This is such a cool game, it's very arcadey. You play as a katana wielding, I don't know what you'd describe her as actually, if she's an assassin or what but it's almost like a two button title. You choose the direction you want to hit in and you hit every hit kills an enemy, but you can also charge up a special move that allows you to slice through everyone. The whole thing, you're kind of shifting between your katana and a pistol or another weapon that you've unlocked and it becomes almost like a rhythmic game. You do a couple of shots in time with a beat and then slice and it's so cool. At the end of each wave, you have to fight a boss Again, it's a one-hit affair, but remember that one hit on yourself and it's game over. Such a cool title, and in my opinion, Cubic Games are probably my most underrated publisher on the Switch. They do a really nice thing as well, where if you own one of their titles, then you get 50% off another one, and it's one of those you could just play and play again, as it's a high score chaser, and it's only 429 megs. Okay, so obviously there'll be people saying, oh, you should have mentioned all of the Dooms. Yeah, all of the Dooms are on sale and they're well worth picking up. I'd say Doom 64 is an absolute steal at that price. Iconoclasts is a great game, and I believe that's 50% off. And obviously Mortal Kombat, if you're into that, but really I'd say pick that up on a, another platform. So, we've arrived at that wonderful and glorious time. Not only do we have the hugest, est, est, uh, est, 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 <laughs> sale that we've had in a long time, but also we have some of the stinkiest best games for you to avoid. There are some shockers here, but let's get into it. First up then, we've got My Universe, My Baby. That's... <laughs> It's 10% off, taking it down to a very enticing $26.99. My goodness, hold me back. Who doesn't want to experience the joys of a snotty, screaming baby on your Nintendo Switch? On the eShop, some of its key features are parenting like a boss. Your efforts are rewarded. The more skills your baby learns, the more items and outfits you earn to personalize your child. <laughs> so... <laughs> If they don't learn any skills, you don't dress them. <laughs> That's, this sounds this sounds very unpleasant. There are more than 30 different activities to discover and master. Don't stand still. Explore the house and play everywhere. In the bedroom, in the kitchen. Sounds dangerous. The bathroom. This is getting slightly concerning. Or the living room. And there's a photo mode so that you can take photos of all their exploits as they learn new skills and you dress them in new clothes. Yeah, my universe, my baby. Never on my Nintendo Switch. Next. Well, next we've got... <laughs> Oh my word. From Coconut Island Games, the one and only Chinese parents. The eShop says, from birth to adult, explore the relationship between children and parents. And then they've got some quotes, and it doesn't say who they're from. This is probably the most heartwarming simulation game you have ever played. <laughs> Continues with about 17 more quotes. Doesn't tell you what the game's about at all, but if we look at a few of the screenshots, there's one particularly action-packed one that looks like it has a turn-based battle between a distant cousin and a... <laughs> and a mum <laughs> and they actually have HP bars <laughs> and then it's got some turns and it looks like two of the moves at the bottom the moves that you can use are stubborn snail as in the attitude that you can present or rhythm control and then <laughs> and then, uh, and then at the bottom right hand corner you can actually flee from this conversation <laughs> well guess what I'm gonna flee from this game what an absolute what an absolute disaster <laughs> I'm so sorry if this is one of your, you know, your top five picks for the year, but no thanks. No thank you very much. I will see myself out. Goodbye. So that's it for this week. If you've enjoyed the video, then do please leave a like if that's what you do. Make sure that you have your notifications on. <laughs> sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't get over that last game. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> right, I'm just going to cry. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, make sure you subscribe and congratulations to the winner of that free game. <laughs> For all things Switch, all the time. <laughs> oh, I've got to <laughs> keep it Switch up. <laughs> Hang on, <sighs> gotta do this one. Oh, thanks to the patrons as well. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm crying. Oh dear. Uh, see ya!